is going on here, people? Welcome back to the channel. I hope y'all can hear me because it is the windiest day in Texas so far this year. And me and my buddy Joseph here are back out at the ranch pond and we're about to do some impossible bed fishing. And I'm pretty sure it's like 20 mile per hour winds right now or something. And we're gonna attempt to throw those two bait baits out here, try to catch some bed fish. Just really whatever bites. So we are gonna see how it goes. Hope y'all enjoy the video. <laughs> me guys you gotta be freaking kidding me before the freaking trip even started the wind shut my door oh bless you thank you <laughs> the wind slammed my door and broke my st croix mojo bass rod completely snapped it in half he cried wow well, i mean yeah i cried a little bit look completely snap snap a rude in half Ugh. 150 dollars trip worth it Get back up. It stopped and it's back I said hey it stopped and then it came right back there's another one Dadgum, that thing is massive Where do y'all be feeding these things? Quick release. I think he's just with the tail now. Come here. I can't see him there anymore. Monster, monster, monster! 
is way bigger than I thought. <laughs> Bro! Bro! I was recording, thank God! <laughs> oh! <laughs> I didn't think it was that big! Hell yeah! <laughs> I can't get the hook out. Golly! Have the scale on it. I'd say probably five, maybe pushing six. She's beautiful. Big, 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 big girl. But anyway, we're gonna let this girl go, put her back on the bed. Okay, you can stop right there. See her? Yes. He thinks she'll go back to her bed. She'll be nicer down there next to her bed. Let's do it next to the bed. I don't want I don't want to mess anything up. Right. Guys, she has eggs, and they're gonna be as big as her. Fish is like as big as you are. <laughs> oh, well, baby girl. Yep. See, that's her bed right there. Right back here. Right back. She stopped right there. Went right back to the bed. Perfect. Monster, get it, get it, get it, get it, Joseph! Don't touch the string! <laughs> Bro! Bro! <laughs> Bro, does your nanny have a scale at all? We gotta weigh this. That is a monster. That is the, that's my PB. That's a 10. That's a double digit, bro. That's a double digit all freaking day. Holy shit. We gotta get a scale somehow. That's a big ass fish. Does your cousin live nearby? I'm gonna get my shim to go down there to the concrete so I can hold her there for a second. Oh my god. Now this is my here. I can't believe that just happened. I didn't even know it hit. Like, I just bounced it, and it, on the drop down, I was talking to you, and I looked back, my line was tight as can be. Oh my God. Yeah. This one's big. This is the part where, I guess, the microphone came unplugged, so the audio is completely gone, but I'm showing you all this huge, huge bass that I just caught. I was literally just throwing the worm with the wind, bouncing it off maybe two, three feet from the bank. And she absolutely just annihilated the zoom worm. She really caught me by surprise. Um, I was talking to Joseph, and next thing I knew, my line was tight as could be, and I gave her a pull, and I immediately felt those tremendous, tremendous head shakes. And I just started pulling with all my might to bring her in, and uh, yeah. I think she was post spawn and I think she was about there sitting on him because she had a bloody tail, but she wasn't as uh, bad as she should have been. Definitely just a huge, huge bass. I really wanted to take more pictures with her, but I had her out of water pretty long, and I didn't want to distress her any more than she already was. But uh, right here, you could tell she was ready to go. Boom. Like a torpedo. But definitely, so far, best catch I've had in a long, long time.